Do you ever find yourself feeling lonely? If you do, you're not alone. Almost 40% of New Zealanders report feeling lonely often, sometimes, or occasionally. This is concerning, as loneliness is known to negatively affect physical and mental health. This made me wonder, does the New Zealand population categorise into distinct loneliness types? And do these types differ in well-being? I found that New Zealanders experienced loneliness in four distinct ways. As expected, there was a group who was very lonely and a group who was not. There were also two middle groups. The appreciated outsiders found appreciation in close personal relationships, but felt like social outsiders, <sighs> while the superficially connected felt socially included, oh, but didn't have meaningful connections with others. These groups had different well-being outcomes. Very lonely people had the poorest well-being, while people who were not lonely had the best. Of the two middle groups, the appreciated outsiders had better well-being than the superficially connected. This is interesting, uh -oh. as it suggests that having close, meaningful relationships may be more important for well-being than having lots of shallower connections. This knowledge is important when considering how we go about helping lonely New Zealanders so that they can live healthier, happier lives.